Hey, it's your girl Sage who I lead with another video. I just wanted to share this um, with you guys and um, it's going to be very short and sweet and not trying to step on anyone's feet. So this week I actually had the opportunity to speak with quite a few people today. Um, not today, but this week. And I really love my family and my friends, but this particular beautiful soul shared with me that they had to, um, in their their engagement and so it was for various reasons what so have you i was of course saddened because i am one that's big on marriage stay keeping together or in especially with black love um either way it goes i went on to um listen to her and i shared with her this is just my advice that i i gave her i solicited my advice and i just said i am a firm believer of making sure that you go through the grieving process it's a death go through the grieving process people say that you should occupy your time and forget about it that is not my style i am a firm believer of being like usher and stay and let it burn just go ahead and let those feelings consume you that is a part of the healing and the grieving process. We don't want to stagnate our healing because that is where we have growth. That is where we have uh, we get to see the lessons and we are able to feel better about ourselves coming out of it. So I just shared with her. I just said, even if you have to cry, let it out. Even if you have to go and break dishes, let it out. Even if you have to have you a drink or a one or two drinks, but make sure that you are not forming any negative um, um, habits. Reading is a great thing. Journaling, reading, uh, I said, well, reading, going and doing things that you like. Do not ignore your feelings. Your feelings are there for a reason. Do yourself a, you know, a service by allowing you to grieve, you know, so that's part of it. And I said, and if we continue to uh, ignore our feelings and do things instead of going through that, the proper process of healing or grieving, we're doing a disservice to ourselves. And then we are also bringing along this baggage into other people's lives. And it's so it has a funny way things have a funny way of coming up in whether you're at work you're dealing with your family you're dealing with your kids you're dealing with the new person or your mom your dad whoever that hurt has a way of resurfacing and it can do more damage than good so it's just like if you ignore that light that's in your car and you continue to ignore it ignore it ignore it eventually that problem that could have been resolved by just taking care of it it can cause more damage in the end and be costly so I shared with that young lady is also be mindful of the stench that it comes along with the grieving process. It's a death. I said we attract different energies. Even when we're operating in high vibration or low vibration, we are still attracting uh, energies. I said just think about if you see something dead on the road. What does that stench or that carcass attract? Scavengers. The buzzers, the decomposers. And um, I then went on and said this. I said, it's almost as if like when you get finished eating and you have some food and what have you. And if you know that it uh, it decomposes at a rapid rate, and especially collard greens. Collard greens, they can stink your whole house up. And so you don't, I said when, I said I was taught by my mother and my grandmother, you have to sometimes double bag those things or those that old food because that that stench will stink up your house that stench will cause people to just say i can't go in there i said then you can put it in your garbage can that is inside your house i said then i also know that sometimes you may keep that funky collard greens inside your a refrigerator and then when the day that is time for the garbage man to come there then you can put it but you double bag it put it inside the garbage can outside so you won't attract things and so that aroma does not bring funky things in or things creatures that you don't want i said so that 
is what you have to be mindful of when you are going through this healing and grieving process of a breakup. Okay. So I shared that, you know, with her and I then went on and said this, I had a fish fry and I made a mistake by putting all my garbage outside before, you know, and uh, the garbage outside and it attracted a whole lot of things. It smelled horrible. You can smell it from the other side. And I had to wait until like four or five days until the trash man came and dumped it. So I now know that was a lesson. I had to go through that. I now know that if I have a fish fry, which I'm going to have again, because you know, black people, we love frying fish on Fridays. I am going to be cognizant of how I, de um, how I, um, discard it. And I am going to make a better decision. I'm not going to put it out there before the trash man comes in. If he's supposed to, it's Friday and he doesn't come until Thursday. I'm not going to do that. So I learned the lesson. So I say all of that to say, my beautiful people, that be mindful of the energy that you are putting out when you are grieving. Do not, do not, do not, do not go um, skip the step of, um, of healing. Okay. So love, peace, and light.